Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. My name is Jen Bordeaux with New Direction Family Law, and I'm sitting here with Sterling Fulton of Your Space to Thrive, and she is one of our wonderful facilitators as part of the For a Better Life workshop series that kicks off next month on February 4th at 9 a.m. Um, so, Sterling, thank you so much for talking with me today. Um, thank you for having me. I'm so excited about this. Of course, we are too. Um, so if you will, just let everyone know um, more about your business, your space to thrive, and how you help people in all your wonderful, magical ways. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> your space to thrive is a business that's really built on helping people achieve the life of their dreams. You know, one of the things that, that I do is I work with people to help them identify who they are at their core, help them develop a plan to get there, and then I hold them accountable, hold their feet to the fire. Which is so important. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It is so important. Um, but uh, I get, And I do that through either one-on-one, -on -one, you know, mm -hmm. setting up one-on-one -on -one consulting and working with them, or I've written a book called The Brain Trust Planner. It's available on Amazon. <laughs> and people can do that as a self-guided uh, thing. They can definitely, you know, identify what's important to them, set up their plans using that as a tool, and uh, then they can also find an accountability partner, and they can do that and, and, uh, through that. So there's multiple ways of doing it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So what got you into your space to thrive? I mean, is it something you've always done, or how did you stumble upon that you wanted to do this and help people plan and be held accountable and everything? You know, it's really interesting. Um, back in 2010, actually 2011, I found myself in a situation that's probably very similar to many of your clients. Um, I ended up, and it was a shocker, I have to tell you. It was something that left me <laughs> kind of like flat. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so in, in the same month, I lost a job that I absolutely loved Mm. And it ended, my marriage of 21 years ended. Something we're a little all too familiar yeah. with in the direction, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, I was faced with all these things, and, and I had to kind of figure out what do I, what do I want my post-marriage years to look like? Right. What do I want that to look like? And then I also had to think about, well, what about me? I mean, you know, I, and so many of my clients come in to see me and they're like, okay, I want to enter this new phase of my life. I want this, but how do I get there? I'm, I've spent so much of my time, you know, doing things for other people, listening to other people. You know, I hear my mother's voice or, you know, I can hear my husband's voice or, you know, yeah, I just hear society's voice telling me that I need to go into this direction, but that's not where my heart is. You know, I want to go someplace else. Okay. And how do I do that okay. and without losing myself? How do I get to do that? And um, so what I do is I work with them to identify what it is that they want, what's really important to them, and then what steps do they need to put in place to get there. Awesome. Yes. Which is such an added benefit to the clients that we work with because, you know, a lot of times, you know, what I've seen in, in my time, my short time in family law uh -huh. and with the attorneys that we work with is that, um, you know, separation divorce is a lot of times wanted way more by one party than the other. Absolutely. And was blindsided with, yes. like, you know, you, yes. you discussed in your situation. Yes. Um, and so then it does give them the chance to reevaluate to see what they want. And while they may have this great idea about, oh, I want to go here, I want to do this, yeah. or I want to change my path, career path, whatever it may be. Absolutely. It's great and, and somewhat easy to say, okay, I want to do this, but then actually putting steps into place to, to get to that um you know, that happy place and that, mm -hmm. that achievement and finding yourself and getting there. So, you know, being able, being that you took your, your personal situation like that and turned it into something that helps others so oh, much yeah. is, is phenomenal and a great resource oh, thank for, you. for those that we thank come you. in contact with on a daily basis. Yes, thank you. Because I definitely understand what it's like, you know, yeah. I mean, I definitely understand what it's like and I, and I can identify with that. And unless you do this, unless you absolutely stop take assessment of who you are and what you want in your, in your life, mm -hmm. you are going to repeat the same mistakes over and over again. And if that same mistake just happened to be a person that you're married <laughs> to, you know, which is easy to do, <laughs> which is very easy to do, you will start dating people that look different, but is the exact same personality of the person that you left. And you've got to take that time to kind of heal and decide what it is that you want and how do you want that to look like in your life and then move forward. And that's really what um, values-based planning does for you. And that
values-based planning is at the root of everything that I do. Awesome. Yeah. And I think a key part that you mentioned is that accountability, because I know just in, um, you know, barriers and hurdles that I've come across in my life, yes. um, that, you know, I want the solution, I want to get to the other side, and I may start taking my own steps, but then, oh, it gets really, really tough and yeah. scary, whether that's emotionally or just, you know, whatever I'm yeah. trying to get through, and so it's very easy to resort back, like you said, to those old behaviors, whatever oh, yeah. they may be. Yeah. So the, and okay, let's talk about the new year. Everybody wants to get fit into exactly. you know, gym memberships or exactly. through the roof. Exactly. <laughs> and that's you know, point. and yeah. that's the great thing about you know personal trainers and why that's so successful mm -hmm. for so many people is because that accountability, or if you have a friend that goes with you, because yes. you're you're much likely you're more likely to push yourself if you mm -hmm. have someone in whatever capacity that may be mm -hmm. physical fitness, nutrition, um, you know, the service of support that you provide. Um, to help you get there and to really get to that end result that you're going for. So. Absolutely. And that accountability, what it means is that that person's not just telling you, hey, hey, go for it, but that person's also reminding you of the reason why you're doing it in the first place. Absolutely. You know, if, you're, if you want to lose weight to fit in a pair of jeans, yeah, you could do that. But for most people, you know, it's beyond just trying to fit into a pair of jeans. It's about getting healthy. It's about being able to run with your children or you know your grandchildren or doing whatever. It's about being a healthy person. Because mm -hmm. I always tell people, you know, if you want to lose 30 pounds tomorrow, you can. You can go to a doctor and have them cut off your leg. And right. pounds <laughs> <gone. 30 pounds. laughs> right. <laughs> nobody wants to do it that way. No, yeah. You know, nobody wants to do it that way. They what they want is they really want to get healthy. And mm -hmm. what does healthy look like? And first, you know, we've been taught that healthy looks like a certain way. It looks like the model. It looks like, you know, she's like a size zero and she doesn't eat. And that's healthy. But not really. I mean, right. that's not really healthy. So maybe healthy is being a size eight and just eating fresh fruits and vegetables and walking and being able to, you know, run around, a, you know, run a couple miles. Maybe that is your healthy. Right. So we've got to identify it, plan for that. And then go for it, you know. So it all stops with just taking a moment, taking a pause, and deciding, um, you know, what it is that we want. And that it sounds easy, but it is—it's hard because it with in society, you know, it's like if my cell phone were to ring right now, I'd be like a Pablo dog, like oh, gotta answer, gotta answer, yeah, gotta answer. You know, it's like our kids are pulling us in this direction. Everyone's pulling us, and we don't have time just to sit and to think. Right, and sometimes that, that time to sit and think is, can be scary. Yes. Or getting to that goal, you know, you know you're know, you talking about the immediate fix of losing 30 yes. pounds, of losing a limb, yes. um, <laughs> voluntarily. But, um, don't do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> don't not do recommending that. that. Um, but um, most of the times, getting to the other side, it is, it's an uphill battle. And yeah. it, is very, it can yeah. be a lot longer, there can be yeah. setbacks that make it even longer than originally anticipated. Yeah. So that actually leads perfectly into your workshop, yes, um, yes. which is a little ways from now, yes. at the end of the year, it's December 2nd <laughs> yes, yes. of this year, but um, definitely want to get some information about what that workshop is so that people can have plenty of time to plan. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so one of the things we're going to talk about um, in the workshop, and the, the title of the workshop is Climbing Your Personal Mountain. How going for your dreams doesn't have to feel like an exotic adventure. Even though it does sometimes. <laughs> it does. You <laughs> gotta take vacation time to go for your, your own dreams. It yeah. does. It does. You know, and it's really funny how that works. And it works like that for everyone. I wrote the book on it, but it, the same rules <laughs> apply to me. <laughs> so, you know. Um, but really, what I'm gonna talk about is how we look at our time and how, you know, um, one of the key things that I do talk about in, in all the workshops and all the presentations that I do is like this mythology, this myth that we can um, somehow manage time. Time is unmanageable. Right. And you, I don't care what anybody tells you, oh, time management, do this. Uh-uh. Time is not something you can budget your time, but you cannot manage time. Time is a beyond all of us. Time is all of our bosses. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yep, yep. You, know, you think you're going to manage that. Well, yep. no. <laughs> you know, we're all, we're all born. We're all going to die. That's great. You know, I've never yeah. heard it put that way, but you're so right. Time is something we don't have control over. We might right. say, okay, we schedule this appointment or this appointment, or one of the attorneys has to be in court by exactly. 9 a.m. They get a exactly. flat tire. Guess what? You still have to be in court. You, you still have I mean? to be in so court. That's right. time's way of saying, hey, 
I, I, I rule this. Like, exactly. You got to listen. You got to exactly. do it. Exactly. So you're right. Budgeting time. That's fantastic. Yeah. I've, I've never really thought of yeah. it that way. It's, it's a whole different concept. And so when you start thinking about a budget in terms of time, one of the things that you can start realizing is that, hey, wait a minute, budgets, I can work with a budget, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I also talk about, and, and I'm not going to tell you all the goodies, in the <laughs> just a little bit on, <laughs> Gotta come but, to the that's, that. right, that's right, <laughs> but one of my goodies is how you can buy time. So time is not even for everyone. So if you are, and I, I am not paid by these people, I love them, I use them all the time, but you know, <laughs> Amazon, Jeff Bezos, who I think is just like wonderful, but if you are working for him, he gets to buy, I believe it's 144,000 people that work for him in some capacity, and each one of them is giving him, let's just say they all give him eight hours a day. I mean, he's got, what is that, more than a million hours a day that he can use to get things accomplished. Okay. Okay. So, because he can buy that, he can buy. He can hire you know, all those employees that's right, to help. Right. To do to help to do things. For some of us, we're lucky enough that we can buy someone to help us to clean our house. Or for all of us, if you have a small child, you actually buy time through your taxes. If your kids are going to public school, to help you to um, educate your children. We don't do that. You know, you can buy, you go for fast food, you can budget time for, and you should not eat fast food. <laughs> <laughs> but you can still, that's part of the budgeting of the time, to get someone to, to feed you or to cook for you. So, you know, it's how we want to spend our time, how we want to spend our resources in terms of getting things done. So it's all about looking at the big budget of time, that big thing of how we're going to use our money and how we're going to use our energy to get the things that we want. Okay, which, you know, and again, I think just going back to, and I think it can be applied to any stressful situation that someone's Absolutely. going through in their life, um, whether it's a job change or, um, you know, the clients that we deal with, if they're now becoming a single parent, Absolutely. or if they had a two-income household that's now going to one, they've got to learn to budget financially. Well, guess what? you got to budget your time, Absolutely. too, because now you it's to a time. lot more is on you, um, and so for a single parent that's just getting, you know, learning with that, I mean, these are great tools to learn. Yeah. Um, yeah. So... A good question that I, I, you know, I read this question and I was like, oh, that's, I really want to know that uh -huh. is, I plan already, because I feel like right. I do. I, right. you ask my friends and my family, I'm a planner. Sometimes right. it's obnoxiously so. Right. right. Um, you know, sometimes I just feel like that's all that I do is planning. Um, but sometimes I don't feel like that planning works out or it's not working for me. So, mm -hmm. you know, why is that? What can I do to get that planning to start working for me? Well, there's a couple of things. One, when people plan, they tend to sit down on a sheet of paper and write all the things that they have to do. Okay, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. So it becomes a list. And your goal becomes, okay, this is something that I'm, you know, this is something that I'm working towards, this is something that I want. And then you write, you know, what you need to do to get there. Most plans, and not all, but most plans aren't tied to your heart or they're not tied to your values. They're just tied to an end result. But, you know, there's a big thing on the why. You know, why are you doing this? Um, sometimes people plan for a big house. I like to use this as an example. You know, I want to buy that, you know, 5,000 square foot million dollar house. And I want that one right there on the corner. This is my goal. And I'm going to work towards that. But the issue is, why do you want that house? So you can do all the plans and you get that house and be miserable. The, the question is, why do you want to do this? You know, why is it that you're going for that goal? Why is it that you're actually setting that plan? And once you tie that down to the things that mean the most important to you, you become unstoppable. So think about this. A good example is, um, you know, the mom whose child gets, unfortunately, gets ill, and they decide they're going to start a foundation. And they have nothing. They have nothing. And this has happened time after time after time. These powerful women will go and start with nothing and end up like, Million dollar foundation. These great foundations, yeah. absolutely, because they had that passion. That exactly. was their why. Exactly. Yeah. It was their why, and nothing will stop them. You know, you look at the Olympian who decides, you know, that I'm going to swim, uh, swim the English Channel, or I'm going to swim from Cuba to. Bless them. Oh, right. yes. <laughs> exactly. And nothing stops them. Right. And we wonder how come that happens. Well, that happens because that person has tied it into something that's deeper, and that's their value. And once you identify that, nothing can stop you. You become like an unstoppable force, you know. So 
a lot of times our plans aren't tied to that. It's just something that we want to do and we want to put it on the check mark and just, you know, check it off the list of things to do. And it's not what is really our driving force. And I, I have to tell you, there have been times in my life where I've done that. You know, I've planned things and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm do it. <laughs> oh, know, I can move that to yeah, the I'm next couple of days. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't, it, normally if it happens, it's okay, you know, but it's just the check mark off the box. But for the things that I've decided that I'm going to do and why I'm going to do them, and it's tied to something that I believe in, nothing, absolutely nothing will stop me. Nothing. Nothing. Awesome. So people have just got to find that true why, not just because yeah. I want to fit to a pair of jeans like you said earlier, yeah, but because I happen. overall want to be healthier. Right. Awesome. Sterling, thank you so much for that. Yeah. Um, so just to reiterate, Sterling's workshop is um, climbing your personal mountain. Um, how going for your dreams doesn't have to feel like an exotic adventure. So please join us for her workshop on December 2nd of 2017. So you got plenty of time to plan and figure out why you need yeah, to be there. That's right. Um, and Sterling also mentioned her brain trust planner. And this is a wonderful device that helps you or book that helps you go through plan, especially if you're like me and you still like to write things down, even though we have all these Google calendars and all that kind of stuff. It's wonderful for that. It really digs into her value-based planning and finding out your why and making sure that you're getting those things done that you want to get. And she has been wonderful, and we will be giving away this at our one of these at our February 4th workshop. Um, so please go to newdirectionfamilylaw.com backslash for a better life, and you can see all about Sterling's workshop and read some more information about her, as well as direct links to her um, your, her business, Your Space to Thrive, um, as well as look at all the other workshops that are going to be offered this year. So, um, again, Sterling, thank you so much oh, for budgeting you. some time today <laughs> for me and to, um, thank you. This to provide amazing. some information. Yes. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, Jen Bordeaux at New Direction Family Law. And, Sterling, please tell people how they can get in contact with you. Yes, you can get in contact with me through my website. Um, go to wwwyourspace to thrive um, we're all, I'm also on Facebook. Uh, look up Your Space to Thrive on uh, Facebook and like me on Facebook. Um, and also on Twitter. <laughs> and so. you can find the Brain Trust Planners if you can't wait until February 4th. Or if you do come to the workshop, which we hope you all do, and you are the lucky one that wins the raffle, you can also find the Brain, Brain, Brain Trust Planners. I can struggle with that all day. Yeah. Um, yeah. On Amazon. Yes, so on Amazon. Please Amazon. check it out. Again, thank you so much. And we hope to see you all this year at the Four Better Life Workshop Series. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>